Truck Stop TV has just spent a weekend here in Armidale. We've been at the Vintage Truck Machinery and Heavy Horse Show. I've got with me Stephen King, and Stephen helped organise the Climbing a New England component of this weekend. Stephen, how are you going? Fantastic. We've had a fabulous weekend here. 60 odd trucks or so over the weekend? About that, yep. Yep. Um, I've heard there's 100 tractors on show again today. Um, as I said, we've got the heavy horses down the bottom, which are just a delight to see. And we've got the engines and everything else associated with the show. So I'd say all in all, for the um, New England club, a fairly successful weekend. We're, we're very pleased um, with how people have come so far, um, made that effort. And uh, I think uh, the relationship between the trucks, the machinery and the horses, has been a great family show because it's something for everyone. There's been a growing tendency with shows now to um, start to include more trucks, tractors, engines, heavy horses as we've seen. Makes it more of a family day out, more inviting for a larger um, community spectacle. Absolutely. So it's worked well. Yeah. Well, thank you Stephen for your time. Okay. Uh, we're going to now show everyone what we've been up to over the last two days and uh, hopefully they enjoy it as much as we have. Okay, and uh, we're thinking about repeating this in two years time. I'll definitely come up again. Excellent. We're glad to see everyone. Alright, thanks Stephen. <laughs> Hi, my name is Richard Ackling. This is my 1946 Chev Maple Leaf truck. Originally an eight tonner, was supposed to be a prime mover, but rebodied here into this configuration. I don't know exactly when, but the chassis number tells me it should have been a cab over. Uh, purchased this one uh, 12 years ago. It's been restored now seven years. Uh, been to numerous shows. A lot of people have told me a little bit of its history. A lot of history I've picked up myself in that time. Originally a Tamworth truck from Pages Transport. Then it was sold to Urquhart and McCulloch. McCulloch haulage still exists today. Then it was sold to the Power Brothers at Watson's Creek, who I bought it off to cut forward to the Tamworth Hospital. Um, I fell in love with it oh, 15 years prior to buying it and um, had to buy it. 100% original the way it was built. Its colour is uh, smoky red. Everybody calls it brown, but it's actually a red. Um, it's an eight tonner. Original 235 four speed. Splash fed engine. Totally been restored from top to bottom to how it was. The GMCs and the Maple Leafs only had the larger engine option with them because they were the heavier horsepower truck. Um, that engine, I've never touched it. It's been worn out three times but all I've done is clean it and a few gaskets and it's still doing going strong as the day it was last rebuilt. That's the original engine for the truck. It matches the chassis number right through. So it was, I found it in a shed, a slab shed. The shed was actually laying on the right hand side. It was on blocks. The guys, the old guys had stored it. They, um, it was sunk into the ground that high even though it was on blocks. The shed was approximately 200 metres from a creek, so it was full of mud wasps' nests. Every component of this thing had a mud wasp in it somewhere. When we first retrieved it, there were three parts missing off the truck. One was the mirror head, which was found in the ground beside just rotted off, and the keys and the distributor cap. As the two fellows I bought off the two bachelors, they lived in an 
old house that has the kitchen separate. I rang the sister up and she said if you go into the kitchen there'll be an artist tin on the fireplace. In that, fire, in that tin was the keys, the cap and the actual finance deal when they actually bought the truck. All there so I got all that back for the vehicle when I picked it up. So nothing was missing off the back. Thank you for watching Truck Stop TV. Please remember to subscribe and see you at the next Truck Stop.